Have you ever wondered why more people have been to space than to the bottom of the ocean? After all, the Mariana Trench is right there, only about 7 miles down and a few hundred miles off the coast of Japan. And yet, only a few dozen people have been down there, and before 2019, that number was 3, fewer than the number of people who have set foot on the moon. On the other hand, more than 600 people have been to space, which requires a building-sized rocket to launch you more than 60 miles up. So what gives? It turns out it's just easier, in some sense of the word, to build a spacecraft that can sustain human life in space than it is to build a submarine that can survive at the crushing depths of Challenger Deep. The issue is pressure. So putting aside the difficulty of getting to space, which is quite difficult, don't get me wrong, actually building a vessel to support a live human just isn't that hard. Essentially, any thin metal box will do. After all, your only goal is to just keep it sealed and make sure it's strong enough to hold up against 14 pounds per square inch of pressure. And that's because there's just no air outside your spacecraft pushing on it from the outside, so the air inside is only kept out by the walls. No outside pressure helps equalize it. But Challenger Deep, at a depth of nearly 7 miles, the water column above you exerts a pressure more than a thousand times higher than what is present at sea level. That's around 15,750 pounds per square inch, meaning that the average human would feel the weight of around 35 five fully grown African bull elephants standing on their heads, surely enough to smush you into a fine paste. So then, what do we do? Well, we need to build a pressure vessel to hold up against the massive forces. The simplest shape is a sphere, and we need to figure out how thick it needs to be for a given material before it gives out. Using the von Mises criterion for the yield pressure and assuming a spherical shell that's 2 meters across on the inside, we require a minimum of 2.5 inches of the strongest steel there is, and any weak points would require extra reinforcement. Compare that to the flimsy aluminum pressure hull of the International Space Station that's only a tenth of an inch thick, and you can see why going to Challenger Deep is so challenging.